Hello everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this February 5th, 2022. It's being brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors and WSR Insurance Services Incorporated. What we're watching for you over the next week are a few things. First of all, we're going to have a fairly quiet weather pattern in the western United States for the next week ahead. Just a couple of minor systems. The Arctic intrusion that came in and brought some really cold weather is going to ease and that's going to allow temperatures to not be as cold for the next week or so. However, by next weekend and the following week, we're likely in the western United States going to get back to a colder and unsettled weather pattern again. California and the desert southwest have been very dry for the last several weeks in a row and that's going to continue for a little bit longer. But there is some hope for California and the desert southwest states to maybe by the end of February into early March get back into some patterns that bring rain and snow back into those areas. But it's going to be another week to 10 days at least for those far western areas to get moist again while the interior west, the central and northern Rockies and the northern plain states and parts of the Pacific Northwest by next weekend will get into some winter weather again. Over the last seven days, this is where the precipitation has fallen. Some good news for parts of Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, New Mexico areas right here, picking up some real needed precipitation in this area, mostly in the form of snow, lighter amounts across the northern and central plains, and you can see the continued dryness in this part of the United States here, which will continue for a little bit longer. Storms are coming in like this and tracking across the country with high pressure dominating here in the far western areas of the United States. And when you compare the precipitation anomalies for the last seven days, you can just really see that only here in the west have precipitations last week been above average, below average precipitation along and west of the Continental Divide. The drought monitor reflects the continued dryness here and we'll can see that continue, unfortunately, for a little bit longer. There's been some modest improvements in some of the drought conditions in this particular area here, but there's lots of yellows, lots of browns, lots of reds. So we still have severe drought conditions in many, many areas. When we look at the drought monitor and changes in the last week, we did see some decent precipitation over the last couple of weeks in this area here, parts of Wyoming, parts of North Dakota, but no large scale improvements in drought conditions over the last week. Just a few isolated areas with eastern Colorado and parts of northwest Kansas benefiting the most. This is what it looks like going forward. For this upcoming weekend, we're going to have what we call an Alberta Clipper slide into the northern Rockies and northern plains, bringing some snow showers and colder weather. However, sunny conditions and high pressure will continue into this area here with very little weather going on. Also, a more westerly flow will bring moderating temperatures not nearly as cold for most of the lower 48 through this weekend and into the beginnings of next week. But if we were to go out further to next weekend, so this will be the weekend of February 12th, the weekend following this one, we're going to start to see colder Arctic air get pushed back into the central and western United States. Still some high pressure here along the west coast, but this is going to open the door to Canada again. And by next weekend and the following week, we're expecting colder air to spill into a lot of the central and eastern United States and parts of the western United States as well. But it's still going to be dry in the far west and the desert southwest. Areas along and east of the Continental Divide here are going to have the areas that have the best opportunity for some additional precipitation, although it's not likely going to be heavy. And this is what it looks like over the next seven days between today and next Saturday. This is where precipitation is forecasted to develop. So you can see a little bit along the spines of the Rockies, out into the plains a little bit, where the more significant snows will be up across Canada, parts of the Northern Plains, Corn Belt and Great Lakes area, then across the far south with another week of dryness in these areas here. Snowfall wise, that's what it looks like. No one getting clobbered, certainly not as snowy or as stormy this week as the past week across the USA. And temperatures reflect a little bit of a warming trend. The colder than average temperatures will be more into the eastern side of North America. And this area of red right here showing some Chinook winds, making it not terribly warm, but warmer than it's been. Now we'll see this reverse after next weekend. So be ready for that. We'll have updates with you next week. And those updates will likely be talking about more in the way of stormy winter weather for the West. Have yourself a great week ahead.